Hey, welcome everyone to a little special interview today. Um, I'm interviewing Peter Tui, an old friend and colleague who has uh, some wonderful um, experience taking architects from the 2D and 3D all the way to virtual reality which gives some amazing benefits for their firms. Peter, welcome. Tell me a little bit about your experience with VR and, and uh, why you're excited about this whole approach to architectural practice. Well, yeah, first, thank you, Eric. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be on with you. And um, so virtual reality is just this amazing tool that, you know, I started years ago and I did um, unlimited three-dimensional drawings and I moved into these videos that I made. Um, and then to virtual reality. And I thought the videos were gonna be enough, I really did. And, um, and then my clients would put the goggles on and they would just go, oh my goodness, I, now I get it. You know, so, so it was just a, a night and day difference again, which I was not expecting. You know, I put on the goggles, me personally, I don't learn anything new. It's like reading a book uh, for a second time. You know, yeah, I might get a teeny little nuance here or there, but I already know all of it, I can see it. So what, what the virtual reality does is it brings our clients literally into our imaginations. They see what we see and, uh, and it's, it's amazing. And the way I kind of phrase it is um, what, what happens to my clients is then they become um, rather than completely you know, passionate about their budget and very interested in the design, they flip that. So now that they're passionate about the design and very interested in the budget, and that that's a nuanced flip, but I, I love it, you know, because they, you know, how can we protect this design that we've worked so hard on, you know? And so the what, what, I get that all the time. It's 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 wonderful. Well, I, that that is great to to know the impact it has in your working with clients. Uh, so. I know that you've been using a very powerful BIM tool, ArchiCAD, for a long time, um, and that there was a transition in terms of adding more information, making the uh, model more realistic using an intermediate tool, Twin Motion, which actually can work with other BIM tools like Revit. Um, mm -hmm. So describe just how much effort that is to take it up a notch in terms of realism. Yeah, so we, we I, I can actually show you the difference, you know, the out of the box or ArchiCAD rendering, and then you can spruce up the ArchiCAD rendering, and then you bring it into Twin Motion, and then, then it's better, but it's still not good enough. And then you do the tricks that I'm going to be teaching, and then you get this amazing um, rendering. But more than that, you get that amazing environment for people to walk through. So the so so the the real trick, and you hit the nail right on the head, uh, Eric, is that you have to have the ArchiCAD and then the Twin Motion working together. And mm -hmm. so when you're when you're thinking about your model, you have to be thinking, how is this going to affect my uh, permit drawings? You know, obviously that's why you use ArchiCAD or Revit or any of them. Um, but you also have in the other back of your mind, how is this going to affect Twin Motion? So you know, just as a one example, we have created probably 30 or 40 or maybe more additional surfaces that are not ArchiCAD surfaces so that we can say, okay, so this thing, whatever it is, it could be a pull on a, um, on a, on a cabinet or it could be the floor or the ceiling or anything. Uh, we know it's, we, it's, we're only using it these certain times, so we're making it a specific surface. And, uh, and it makes all the difference in the world because Twin Motion understands that. And, um, and so again, it just, uh, you know, we that took a while, a while to learn that that the out of the box ArchiCAD surfaces won't work. They won't work. Right. Okay, so that's one of the um, not necessarily tricks, but just one of the, the uh, things that are important to understand as you move forward. Um, so ultimately, you end up with clients who just their jaws drop. Uh, they just really get it. Uh, they see what's in your imagination, and it, it seems like. Uh, from what you've described, it can make a big difference in winning projects where people go, I want to work with you because this is something that no one else has even mentioned that they could do. Yeah, so the um, so what I do now is when a potential client walks in the door, I just leave the virtual reality goggles out. I can see them, they're right over there. And, um, and then they kind of say like, oh, and I said, yeah, you can put them on if you want. You know, you've probably interviewed and you should, uh, you know, as many architects, three, I would say, is a good number. Um, and But they probably all have virtual reality goggles. If you don't want to walk in mine, you don't have to. 
And they're like, no, we do. I'd love to try. And I said, okay, so then before we do that, let's figure out what, what your dream is. And I've got more than a dozen environments. Let's pick one that's kind of similar to yours so you get the feel of what that might be like. And um, and I just then just shut my mouth. I mean, you know, the virtual reality goggles do all the talking. Um, so it, it, it is a huge advantage. And uh, and again, I can't overstate it enough that that it's, it wouldn't be an advantage if I was trying to to get you to hire me and it wouldn't be an advantage for you if you were trying to get me because i can understand the drawings a hundred percent so can you so that's it's not for us it's for our, our clients and they love it so that's not a not a question so it sounds like it's a business winning strategy it's also you've mentioned um something that uh, helps with clients making decisions that uh, yeah. as you are working with them, the meetings go quicker, the decision process uh, is sh not short circuited, but shortened um, yeah. because they can easily see the difference between things and understand it and feel comfortable with, okay, yeah, this is what we'd like. Yeah, I found in the past and, and, and you know, it could be my presentation style. It could be, I don't know, some the moon and Jupiter is on the wrong side or whatever. Um, but I found in the past that 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 any time a client is even the slightest bit confused about the drawings, and they're always confused about the drawings, then they want to change something to give them that feeling that they have power, right? Because they do. They're the client. And so they, I don't know what's wrong with this. I just don't understand it. So there's got to be something wrong because I don't understand it. So let's change the kitchen. And um, a good friend of ours, Tim Alatori, had a has a story where he he the client changed it before he put it in virtual reality then um he, he did virtual reality for both right so the old version that he thought was right for the client and the new version the changed version and they didn't like the changed version he goes yeah i didn't think you would here's the old one that you had us change and they're like that's perfect yeah we thought so too and so the um so that, that's the kind of thing that happens, you know, because again, with complete understanding comes complete confidence. And then when you have confidence, you make good decisions. I mean, it's just, it, it really is that simple. Right. Well, I'm excited that you're um, putting together your knowledge and your experience in this area to help architects uh, around the US and around the world actually um, get into this world, uh, taking, you know, their experience with design and with 3D and, uh, those of them are those of uh, people who watch this who are already using BIM tools like ArchiCAD and Revit, and just layering on top this special sauce um, right. that really makes it so much more vivid, realistic, and understandable for uh, clients. Um, so you're going to be doing a, a webinar um, that will explain sort of more of the details of who it's for and, and uh, you know, how you get started with it and what are the options. Um, yeah. Tell us what, what you're going to be including in this webinar. So the, uh, the first question we're going to ask people is, uh, are they CPT or are they VR? And uh, so it's an interesting question and, uh, and it's a serious one. It's a little bit funny too. Um, but then we get into the reasons why you can't do virtual reality. So one is it's too expensive. So I was like, I said, really, is it too expensive? So let's find out exactly what it costs. So so everyone can make up their own minds because I think people have in this in their minds it's too expensive, but they don't know how much it'll cost. So let's tell them. They may say it's pretty easy math. Uh, then it's uh, it takes too much time. Okay. So how much time does it take? And and then you can decide whether that's too much time for your firm or not. You know, is that too much time or money to see your clients' jaws drop? And then the last one is it's too complicated which uh, I can tell you right now, it isn't. And the, and the um, uh, you know, I, I did it. So, so I'm a relatively smart guy, but I'm not a computer guy, you know? So I know what three programs, and I say I'm an expert in three programs. And so, so I say it's ArchiCAD, TwinMotion, and email. But any ArchiCAD expert would argue with me. They would say, eh, you're very good. I don't know, expert, well, let's say very good. And TwinMotion, same thing, you know, you're very good. Maybe you're an expert. And then email, I'm great at reply all. So, but that's it, you know. So, so I'm not a computer guy. So I, so that it is not too complicated. Um, and then, then we go into, in the in the webinar, we're going to go into, you know, how to really tell if your firm could or should, you know, transition from where you are 
to virtual reality. And not all firms are in that position. And uh, and we're going to be very upfront with with people that are in that position and how close they are, and then people who aren't and how far they have to go. So it's a it's going to be a, a really good webinar for you know just for informing the you know uh, architects all around the east of the world uh, where they are and and then. Uh, you know, ultimately, virtual reality is here, you know, so, um, you know, is it 10 years? It might be five. It's certainly 20. So if you're in business, want to be in business for 20 years, I don't see how you can avoid it. Uh, if you want to be in business for 10, it's probably hard to avoid it, but not impossible. Five years, yeah, you can avoid it. You know, that's, you can probably do that. Yeah, but you can be out in front of the curve. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the, I think, part of the the aim here is to help those people who really uh, want to take advantage of um, the opportunity uh, to get going. So, so that's the webinar. And then um, you've got a course that you've uh, put together, um, and that's going to really explain um, all of the steps and methods, uh, tips and tricks, nuances for getting the most out of it. And, and again, this is taking a design so you have to be a designer you have to be an architect it's mm -hmm. taking a model so everybody who's using ArcCAD or Revit or even something like SketchUp can potentially take that model into twin motion into virtual reality and if you only want to go part way I mean I've seen your twin motion uh, renderings um, it's amazing how far you can go even without the virtual reality goggles just right. it's such a huge difference between that and what you get right from the, the built-in rendering tools. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this uh, class is going to cover all of that. Yeah, and and um, and then the the you know what one of the things I think is really important is to teach people why we're doing what we're doing. And um and, and a very intelligent man who I know you know Richard Petrie taught me um, that people buy on emotion and then justify those decisions with logic. So we have to give them emotional. Um, renderings and emotional videos and emotional virtual reality so that they can transport themselves you know what is their house going to be like on christmas morning you know i don't do a project now without that as a rendering you know snowy because it's, it's it's really just one button and you're done um and uh and then and you get to say that you know it's like as you're cycling through and oh yeah we always like to show christmas morning so here you are and then it's this beautiful thing the sun's coming up and there's uh, you know, presence under the tree because we can put those into, and I mean, it's amazing. So, um, but but they buy on emotion and then justify with logic. So everything I'm going to be teaching is how to amp up the emotional quality of the designs. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a contemporary design, traditional, or anything else. Um, you, you have to show them as you know their most beautiful versions of themselves. So that and that, that that's what we're trying to do. So it's lighting, it's uh, it's weather, it's atmosphere, it's aging the the homes appropriately or projects. So it's all it's all that stuff to make it look um, again. So that when you put the goggles on, ultimately when you get that to that step, um, your your mind is completely transported into this virtual reality. I mean that's what it is. Right. Okay. Well, um, I'm excited to be working with you on this project. So. Uh, all of you who are watching this, uh, we've placed on this video and on um, the page that uh, you're looking at it information about the webinar, which is a, a free presentation. Uh, that'll help you understand the whole scope and scheme of things and uh, is it right for you? Is it something that you want to do now or put on your queue for later? Um, yep. And for those of you who uh, attend the webinar um, and want to really plunge in, you know, the course is going to be a great step-by-step um, -step journey towards taking you from where you are on a bridge that's not too far, you know, just a small, you know, few very uh, straightforward steps. Uh, right. It'll transform, I think, the way you work with clients. Um, it really, I, I've been so excited, Peter, to see, you know, your work. And, uh, you know, I've known you for a long time, you know, with the ArchiCAD and just seen some of uh, the projects. But uh, the way you've um, been able to run with this technology in the last, you know, few years, um, right. it's just been, you know, astonishing. My draw has dropped too. So. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you very much, Eric. Uh, good. So I look forward to seeing people, and uh, and it's uh, yeah, it, it's been an absolute joy, you know, 
there's been you know this uh, this this journey that I've gone through the last three years, and I'm really shortening it down to just a couple of uh, of lessons that you know I would have loved to have had when I started my journey. I mean, I'm not, it's just that simple. Right. So, okay. Well, uh, that's great. So uh, just thanks, uh, Peter. All of you who are watching, uh, just look for the information um, on this video and on this page for how to uh, watch the webinar, which is free. And then if you are interested in really going uh, further with this, then that course, uh, ver we've priced it very economically. I think it's uh, really a no-brainer in terms of just the value it can bring to a firm. Um, so uh, yeah, this is going to be exciting to bring that to uh, architects around the world. Perfect. Thanks, Eric. Thanks again. All right. Take care, Peter, and bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.